today we are going to try to inflate a balloon without blowing air into it. You need some vinegar, baking soda, a plastic bottle with the ring cut off of it, some balloons of course, and some yeah. funnels. One big, one small. Let's get started. Pour in the vinegar in. Now we're going to get this funnel and pour baking soda about halfway to this balloon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get this balloon and put it snugly on this neck of the without pouring the baking soda in yet. So I'm going to do this. So I've got mine on there. We are now going to lift this balloon and let the baking soda fall out. So me and BJ are going to have a race to see whose balloon fills up first. And remember, BJ, you're going to hold yours up. Okay, ready? On your mark, set, go. Come on, come on, come on. Hold yours up, hold yours up. Hold Whoa! It. Hold it, hold it. Okay, let go, let go. Ooh, that is why I come on, it's not fair. Hold it, hold it up. Look at this. I think this is awesome. Can we do this again? It looks like a yeah. steering wheel. A steering wheel. BJ says it looks like a steering wheel. So, it's inflating pretty heavily. This is how big our balloon is. The reason that this happens is because when you mix the baking soda to the vinegar, it combines and it, it's called a gas of carbon, di carbon dioxide and Whoa. it does this, it causes this. So I think this is a really fun experiment you can do at home. I, I see some of the With your friends, please comment, subscribe, and like to my video. Check back in on me and I'll have plenty of more fun and exciting experiments just like this. Thank you. I have no idea what's going to happen. I heard that it does something really good. Look, I just, I just got a shower of